you need keywords because of two things. First, you need to optimize your pin titles and descriptions, and you also need to find out what kind of content you should actually create for your blog. So how do you actually do it? How do you find the right keywords? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you five different ways of doing keyword research. Most of these are free to use. So if you don't want to pay anything, that is completely fine. Stick until the end because I'm going to show you my favorite method as well that I'm using on a daily basis. So let's get into it. But before I start, if you are confused, if you need some kind of help with all of that, join the pin line community. I created this community for everyone who loves blogging and Pinterest. We can share our strategies and we can grow our traffic together. You can get access to all of my prompts, all of my strategies and all of my custom tools and you can also message me directly. We have people from all over the world. That includes a group of people from Germany, from Morocco, from Sweden, Spain, United States, India, Philippines, Indonesia, so many different countries. So there is a chance that someone from your country is already inside of the community and two of you can connect and chat about Pinterest. If it sounds interesting, the link is in the description. You know what to do. Okay, so the first method that you can try is using a free tool offered by Pin Generator. Pin Generator is a scheduling software that can help you create pins too, but they also have a keyword suggestion tool, which is completely free to use. It's very simple to use because you simply have to enter the keyword and it's going to show show you the suggestions for other keywords that you could potentially use. And sometimes it gives you the monthly search volume as well. Personally, I think that there are better ways of doing it, but it's free and it shows you the estimated volume, which can be useful too. So overall, free, fast, great for beginner friendly keyword research. By the way, I'm going to leave links to all of these tools in the description. So if you want, you can just check it out. Now let's talk about the Pinterest native search, because I use this method quite often in the past. You simply have to go to Pinterest, type in your keyword like kitchen ideas or something like that, and just look at the auto suggestions that pop up. These are real high volume search terms. Pinterest is literally telling you what people want and these suggestions reflect active trending searches that the platform wants to show more content for. So this is pretty important. You can use all of these keywords in your pin titles, in descriptions and boards. So definitely it's a very good way of doing keyword research. Just like pin generator, it's completely free and you don't have to pay for anything. But at the same time, it requires a little bit more of manual work because you just have to search for it. You have to find the right keywords. You have to save these keywords. So again, it takes a little bit time. Next method that you can try is using the Pinterest trends. It's official, it's free, and quite often it's actually underrated. It basically shows you all of the current trends and all of the keywords that are growing in popularity right now, filtered by country, by date, and even the audience. So using Pinterest trends is great for creating seasonal content, for hopping on trends before they peak, and aligning your strategy with the current traffic flow on Pinterest. You can simply go to trends.pinterest.com and try it out for yourself. There is one feature that I really like about trends. It basically gives you ability to see the estimated volume in the future. So as an example, this is the estimated traffic volume for fresh berry recipes. So as you can see right now, there is nothing, but it's going to peak during the summer. So even though this keyword is not generating much traffic right now, there is a chance that in a couple of months, it's going to bring some serious traffic to your website. So if you have a food blog, fresh berry recipes is the way to go. And of course, you can see the estimated volume for a lot of different keywords. So what you can do, you can see which keywords were trending last summer, for example, and then it's going to give you a lot of ideas for new content this year. Today is the 1st of May, so it's the perfect time to start adding more content for the summer stuff, because before it ranks, before it starts getting traction, it needs a couple of weeks. So there is a chance that if we add recipes with fresh berries today, for example, if you have a food blog, well, it's going to start ranking in June. And in June, the traffic for this specific keyword is very likely to grow. So you know what to do, just go to trends and just find your own keywords. Another method is using ChatGPT or any kind of LLM that can help you generate keywords and more ideas. You can use this prompt. 
Give me 20 Pinterest keyword ideas that moms aged 25 to 40 would search for in the home decor niche. Include a mix of seasonal keywords, DIY phrases and long tail keywords. Make the suggestions SEO friendly and optimize for Pinterest pin titles. So obviously it's just an example, but you can tweak this for any niche, any audience, any trend. So if you want to go further, you can ask ChatGPT to format the output and give you more keywords and more pin titles and descriptions, whatever you want. And of course, if you want to get access to more prompts that will make you more productive on Pinterest, you can always join the Pin Lions community. But now let's move to my favorite method of doing the keyword research on Pinterest, which is using a tool called PinClicks. It's a paid tool, but there is a free trial available too, so you can test it out on your own. And I'm pretty sure that you don't even have to enter your credit card details. PinClicks is awesome because it shows you something called annotated in interests, which is basically Pinterest's internal keyword system. If you have access to that system, you know exactly what kind of keywords you should use in your titles and in your descriptions. And if you use these specific keywords, Pinterest algorithm is going to understand your pins faster. On top of that, you can do more research. You can see the search volume. You can see the competitors. Honestly, the value is insane. I use this tool to basically reverse engineer Pinterest SEO because I can see what Pinterest associates with each keyword and then I structure my boards, my titles and descriptions around those keywords. In my opinion, you won't get this kind of ROI anywhere else. It's paid, but honestly worth every penny if you want to scale your traffic. The main takeaway I want you to get from this video is that keyword research is not optional on Pinterest. You simply have to do it. If you apply some of these strategies, you will most likely build a list of your target keywords pretty quickly. But honestly, using pin clicks is the way to go. But if you are still confused, if you don't know what to do and you want to get the results faster, you can always join the Pin Lions community. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this quick video was helpful. And if it was, consider subscribing to this channel. See you next time.